This is a vulnerability in the Winchester Model TS-1230 gun safe. This gun safe operates primarily with a pin pad. Back up access in case the pin pad loses battery or has a fault is given by this key. This wire and the hole that the wire travels through is the vulnerability. Access to the back of the safe panel is granted with four Phillips head screws. When you remove these, here's the hole and here's the wire. This hole is so big because replacement of the pin pad model must, the way that it's done now, must allow for that piece of plastic to go through. If this was a smaller piece of plastic, this vulnerability may not apply. Access is granted by nothing more than a coat hanger built in a certain way. You stick the coat hanger in, over, and you let it rest. When you depress, the switch, this little switch, would be activated by that backup key. Push the switch, safe opens. That's the problem. This is a self-guided walkthrough on the hardware badge for the Winchester model TS-1230 gun safe. What we do first is we unclip the wires. After we unclip the wires, go ahead and undo the pen pad, gently pull through. The hardware here the order of it, the installation, and the way the things are facing matters. Take your time when you're doing this. Once all that hardware is off, with the plug in place, take the wire, slide through the gap, move all the way down, and then you do it and you push through until you feel it seat itself, then you push all the way back. Go ahead and pull this wire through, give yourself a little bit of slack back here to make sure it can reach the plug. Now let's go ahead and reassemble. doing this you want to make sure that if yours is not made out of metal that you use appropriate pressure to keep it secure but not to crack the 3d printed model and if it is metal tighten accordingly with this piece it needs to be facing towards the safe on these little hooks if you do it the wrong way the safe will not unlock when you use the backup key again it's really important to pay attention to the way that things go when you take it apart it would not be fun to put this back together only to find that your backup key no longer functions. Go ahead and tighten that down. Obviously you would use tools to tighten further than just hand tight. Clip that in. When you put the plug back in, make sure you go in straight, not at an angle, you risk breaking the pins. Next up, we want to test, test the backup key to make sure it works. So with the safe open, go ahead and lock it. The safe is locked. Put the key in. Turn the key hard. The safe unlocks. It's good to go. Good to go. Now, when you look here, you'll see the plug comes through. And it would be really difficult to get the coat hanger trick to work now. Thanks for watching.